They're now rolling into the Geico restart zone. We're going overtime here at Kentucky in the Shady Rays 200. Green flag is out. Briscoe gets a slight advantage to the inside with a push from Noah Gregson. Austin Sindrick fights back to the outside. More like a shove from Gregson that pushes Briscoe out front. They are door to door for the lead there. Oh, Briscoe gets loose under him, and Sindrick checks out a big wad of cars there. Nobody hitting each other as they had to get on the brakes. Justin Allgaier goes sailing towards the back. Here comes Riley Hurst, but Sindrick up front. He's down at the bottom of the racetrack. Austin Sindrick's going to lead them all four. Austin Sindrick with a five-car length advantage right now will come back to the stripe. He will take a look at the white flag a mile and a half to go right in second. Riley Hurst. It's, that would be Hurt's best finish there. In third place, it's going to be the 10 of Ross Chastain. He looks under uh, Hurt there for second spot as Sindrick's trying to check out. And four cars battling for the fourth position behind them. Austin Sindrick just a half a lap away from doing something he has wanted to do forever. Win on an oval. Behind him, though, the battle is good. Ross Chastain and Riley Hurts. We got cars sliding and down the back stretch, but here comes for the win. Down out of turn number four, a bridesmaid twice in 2020. Austin Sendrick finally gets his first win. He wins the Shady Rays 200 here at Kentucky Speedway. And I think what happened back there, Justin, Allgaier was involved in a wreck along with two or three other cars. Allgaier's car made it almost a half a lap to go before it turns into a mangled mess. That thing is tore up, Doug, and he got really shuffled on that on the back of that restart there, and they got cars that's sitting in the middle of the racetrack here. Really tough way to finish for a number of cars. Also involved in that wreck, Timmy Hill and Ronnie Bassett Jr., who had run top 15, top 20 all night and were on the lead lap. And when Briscoe washed up the racetrack, poor Justin Allgaier had to completely leap out of the gas, slam on the brakes. And again, as we take a look at this coming out of turn number four, uh, we see those cars battling back there, and they get all tangled up. Allgaier gets into Ronnie Bassett Jr., sends him into the outside wall, then hard into the inside wall. And I mean, all four tires came off the ground for Bassett, and that car is completely uh, destroyed. And Timmy Hill, with no place to go, hits the outside wall and then rams into Bassett. And you got to feel for somebody like Ronnie Bassett Jr. or Timmy Hill, Mark. These are teams, they don't have big budgets. They don't have lots of money. And they were less than a half a lap from finishing this race with cars intact that they could run tomorrow. And now they're going to have to go to car number two. And you look at Bassett as his car comes to a stop, Doug. It is destroyed. They may not be able to even fix that one. But Riley Herbst winds up the runner-up in this race. Ross Chastain, what a night. Up and down for him. He winds up third. Chase Briscoe finishes fourth. Anthony Alfredo, great run for the rookie driver for Richard Childress Racing in the Alsco Chevrolet. He was fifth. Michael Annette, sixth. Uh, Justin Haley. And what about Kyle Weatherman? Look at this. He comes home eighth ryan sieg gets a ninth place finish and from one lap down after he was wrecked by ross chastain brett moffett comes back to finish 10th 